Okay, we're going into the fundamental five, and this is a listing on Mossy Oak Properties, and we're going into the big buck state of Ohio. We're going into Southeast Ohio. Let's zoom in to Jackson County and go into this beautiful 603 acre farm. And as you zoom in, the first thing you notice, if you look in and around this area, that portion of Southeast Ohio is very heavily timbered. And that's something that I like. I talked to my buddy, Ben Rising out there. He likes Southeast Ohio. All of that big cover means more deer pass on to older age classes. Therefore, you have more trophy bucks coming out of that part of the state. Now, if you look at this property, this is a big property. You drill down on it a little bit. The first thing I noticed is that it touches Lake Alma. That's a uh, close to 300 acre, Let's see how big it is. It's a 329 acre uh, state park. There's no hunting on that state park. Then if you look at the actual piece and you zoom in on it, one of the things I like to do first and foremost is look at the topography. And you see elevations up in the 800s. It goes as low as about 700 and I don't see anything lower. I like to look around in the area, make sure it seems normal for the territory. Everything are, are in those same elevations. It's got a creek running through it, little raccoon along the southwest border and the west border. It's also got two pretty good sized bodies of water on it. There's a lot of cover on this particular piece of property. It is listed by a gentleman by the name of Scott Bear. I met Scott last fall. He came in, he had bought a hunt through Catch a Dream and he came in and hunted with me. So when I saw this was his listing, I called him up and I said, Scott, give me the lowdown on this 603. He said, it's an amazing farm, great recreational farm. The one thing he mentioned about it was there was a, a very detailed trail system through the entire farm, which is important on a farm where you only have road access on the south and southwest side. He said, the trails through the farm are amazing. He said, you can get literally any place on the farm. So access is there. I said, how's the overall timber value? He said, timber's good. They've planted 10,000 white pines. It got cut about 25 or 30 years ago. So it's gonna be due for another cut coming up very shortly. So there is some timber value there, perhaps as much as 50,000, he thought. There is a power line going through the place. So that could be an additional place for food plots. But if you look north central and then over on that east side, You've got a lot of open area for food plots. What's important about open ground on the east side of a property? That means predominantly west wind hunting is going to be very good because they're gonna be bedded west of you. You've got food over on that east side, so afternoons are gonna be fantastic. You've got access up there to that big north ridge. You can put food there. And you see a lot of steep topography. And if you look through that, all through that farm, there's a lot of south face and a lot of east face. And I think any farm success can be defined simply by looking at how much south face and east face it has in it. That's where those deer like to bed. It's also where you get your most bang for your buck if you go in and do some TSI, which is the first thing that I would do. When you've got this much cover and this much room for food, if you go into select areas and hit it very hard with TSI, create the thickest thickets you could possibly imagine, especially on those south faces, then they're going to have a lot more daylight or you're going to have a lot more daylight when they come out to those plots. Everything about this farm I like. I like the layout of it. Overall, it's a, a big piece of property. It's got a little bit of an odd border, but not too bad. It connects to the state park. It's far enough off of the other states around it. You're only going to be affected by your neighbors and most of the neighbors around it are pretty good sized parcels. So I really don't see a lot wrong with this particular piece of property. In fact, it may be the prettiest big buck farm that I've looked at in doing these fundamental five. So everybody, if you're looking for an Ohio farm, give our good friend Scott Bear at Mossy Oak Properties a, a call and check out that 603 there in Jackson County, Ohio. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This segment of DOD TV was brought to you by Ram Trucks. Gut Glory Ram.